So you're at this climate rally and you're trying to persuade the government to change, but you won't change simple ingredients in your diet. Uh, yeah, no, I find, um, I think dessert shouldn't be placed on the individual to change their you know, lifestyle. I think it's pretty clearly that it's corporations, as I said, and yeah. industrial agriculture that are the underlying causes. Are you guys here for the climate rally? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so do you mind if I ask you a few questions? I'm just capturing some footage of the climate rally. Sure. Is that okay? Yeah, so are you guys against climate change? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, what do you think being here today is going to do? I think it's really important to send a message that we're going to protest under a Labor government. Because Labor's making a big fuss about having ambitious climate targets, but actually they're not worth the paper that they're written on. And they're looking to approve a whole bunch of new coal and gas projects now that are going to see an acceleration of the climate crisis. So, yeah. yeah, I think it's important to do that. Yeah, definitely. So, what do you think the leading causes of climate change are? Uh, the leading causes of climate change. Um, uh, I, I think it's mainly corporations, um, the continuous sort of alliance with fossil fuels, uh, yeah. and governments are just sort of, uh, yeah, I'm implicit in that um, regime. Yeah, would you say animal agriculture is a leading cause? Uh, I would say um, to an extent, um, yeah, it's, you know, it's industrial agriculture, um, and yeah, it uses a lot of fossil fuels. Um, yeah, and water. Emissions, a lot of natural resources, um, and it causes a lot of damage on the environment for sure. Yeah, so how long have you been vegan then? <laughs> I've been vegan forever. So you're at this climate rally and you're trying to persuade the government to change, but you won't change simple ingredients in your diet. Uh, yeah, no, I find um, I think dessert shouldn't be placed on the individual to change their you know, lifestyle. I think it's pretty clearly that it's corporations, as I said, and yeah. industrial agriculture that are the underlying causes. Um, so. Why are you here today? Well, I'm a parent and a grandparent and um, you know, clearly the planet's in trouble and we yeah. need to start taking action and we're running out of time. We've got two or three years at best to try and put these things in place. Yeah, so what do you think that we can do to help stop climate change from happening? Well, I think the biggest thing we need to do is to get our government to act. Yeah. I can do little things as an individual, but it's beyond that now. We need to get our governments to do the right thing, to start cutting our emissions drastically. And that's all yeah. we can do. We have to apply the pressure now. Yeah. So are you taking individual actions as well? Yeah. I've been involved in individual actions where we've, where we've been potentially ready for arrest, um, where we block the streets, but I think the time for petitions and all that sort of thing is virtually over. There's no yeah. Time. yeah, that's amazing that you're doing all these protests and things. Um, are you vegan? I don't eat any red meat. We no red some meat? Fish and, Did you? and I'm very careful about what I buy now. It has to be sustainable. It has to be sustainable. It has to be not endangered. I don't eat anything that I know has some been grown. Yeah. So did you know that animal agriculture is one of the leading causes of climate change? Yeah. So even though you're not eating red meat, every time you eat other meat, whether it's sustainable or not, dairy, eggs, fish, you're actually paying for the climate to die and like you're killing the planet. So. But this is one of the things that where individuals get laden with guilt, but it's actually the government that has been holding up proper regulations of our food industry yeah. and they should be putting money into agribusiness that's sustainable and that protects our water supplies and everything else. Yeah. Well, so individuals, yes, I agree. 
but there's a system change that needs to happen here and it needs to be driven by government. Yeah, well, agricultural, like, if it, to make it stop killing our earth, it would have to be a complete plant-based diet. There's been a lot of research. Yes. So if you think about it, all of these individuals here, all the individuals on the planet, all our actions combined can have just as great an effect as the industries that the government is funding. So while it's important that we're here encouraging the government to change, because they definitely do need to make changes, we also have to think about our own individual foot steps yes, and because, I absolutely do do that. Yeah, well, we can't expect the government to change if you won't even change a few simple ingredients in your diet. Well, I have changed, so I have yeah. done what I can. Yeah, that's good that you're and not I eating red meat, more, but... And I have done more. But yeah. I'm, I'm here today because we need system change. Yeah, we and do. Individuals can do what they can do, but we need system change. As well. Yeah, we definitely need system change, but there is definitely more that us individuals can do. If we all switch to a plant-based diet, we can reduce total annual emissions across the world by 20%, That's which is quite a lot. So yeah, it's, I'm very glad that you're here today and stuff like this definitely keep doing, but it is definitely worth thinking about your own diet as well, because yeah. switching to a plant-based diet can make a very big change, especially if we're all individuals change together, we can make a big impact. The biggest problem that you'll see today though is because climate change has already started to impact the cost of fresh fruit, vegetables is already starting to rise and you just need to go even into the freezer department in the supermarkets, all the frozen vegetables are being sold out and out of stock as well. People are yeah. struggling now even to get vegetables, fresh fruit yeah. vegetables because of climate change. Yeah, I like spinach. Oh, I love her hair and I didn't even... Yeah, well, I mean, it's important. There's other food that's vegan other than vegetables, so if we want to stop this, then that's what we need to do. I do, and I appreciate that. Yeah, well, it's definitely something worth thinking about, and thank you for all your work here today. Thank You're doing you. a good job. Thank you, and thanks for yours. Thank you. Bye. Bye.